Okay, I wanted to give you guys another lesson on this shadow board for navigation. The way I've set this up, this could be a piece of wood, this could be a notebook, it could be anything that you can draw a circle on with a piece of chalk, a piece of charcoal, a marker, a pencil, anything you've got to write with. And then you're going to bisect that into a pie basically to give yourself 45 degree quadrants. Then you can easily draw in the rest of the hours in there to give yourself a clock face for the most part. That would be like a 24 hour clock. But you're really only going to use from 6 to 6 on this clock because your horizon line is your east-west line. So look at that as a horizon. Now I've counted the hours and to me the local apparent time, in other words I've counted how many hours it is till the sun goes down, is between 3 and 4 o'clock. So if I take this board and I move that shadow so that it's pointing between the 3 and the 4 here, we'll just go to the 4 just to make it easy to understand. We'll say 4 o'clock. And if we put our compass on there to verify, and that's what we're doing right now, we're practicing, so we're verifying our methods. If we lay our compass on there, on the straight edge, we're dang near north-south with that board, which means the front of this board is facing north. All right? So we've accurately figured out a northerly direction and all the other cardinal directions simply by counting hands down to the horizon and figuring out what the local apparent time is. That's pretty easy to do. Now if we want to navigate with this, all we have to do is understand the differential between the 12 o'clock and where we currently are. And in this case that is 1, 2, 3, 4 marks or 4 times 15 which is 60 degrees off of an east-west direct line if the sun were coming up right now. So let's say we want to travel in a westerly direction. We would turn this board and you see I've got west T which means westerly travel which is actually the east side of the board. If I turn it to that that would tell me that the board is facing west but it's really not because I haven't added in this differential. So I have to add in the 15, 30, 45, 60 degree differential and now the front of this board or my travel direction should be facing west. So if I lay my compass on here now I should have a north-south line going straight across this board which I do which means the front of this board is facing west the back of this board is facing east. So that means that we can now dial in a travel direction. So if we didn't bring a compass with us and we happen to get lost and we didn't bring our proper kit, we can verify direction very simply by drawing a circle on something with a cup, a bush pot, even a makeshift circle that's pretty close will be more accurate than nothing. But what this will allow us to do is understanding that this shadow is going to move 15 degrees approximately on this board every hour. That means as long as I keep this shadow here for the next hour, I can point this board in a direction, pick an object like I would with my compass, take this board and walk to that object, put the board on a flat surface again, line it up with the same direction line, understanding that I've got an hour before this thing's going to move, or it's going to move very slowly throughout the next hour, but I can walk 5K in an hour. So if I know that there's a road directly west of me, I can dial that bearing in, leapfrog my way for the next 5K or the next hour, and I'm only going to be off a maximum of a few degrees, but at least I'm going to be walking a fairly straight line, and I'm not going to experience a lot of lateral drift. That's the key to this. Now, if you wanted to make this thing really, really accurate, and they've used these in the desert for accuracy because, especially during the war, when they tried to have compasses on large metal objects like tanks, jeeps and things like that they use shadow board navigation you can put a bezel ring of sorts by getting one of these circular protractors from maptools.com and laying it right on top now you have a 360 degree bezel ring that you can move so now if i put this zero to north and i line my board up to where it's supposed to be which is 60 degrees off 
of north. Verifying again with my compass that we have a north-south line, and we're only like two degrees off of that at that four o'clock, all right? Now, if we want to do the same thing, let's say that we want to travel that easterly bearing or 200 or westerly bearing, excuse me, that 270 degrees. What we would do is we would move this 360 into our eastern quadrant, and then we would again adjust those 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees, move our shadow back to the 360, and again, we should have that east-west line going across this board, which we do. So we could incrementally plug in a particular travel bearing down to one or two degrees, knowing that we're going to have some error, but it's going to be fairly accurate. And now we actually have created a sun compass, not just a shadow board. I hope you followed that. It's once you've done it a few times and you understand what you have to do and how to estimate hours of daylight and get local apparent time, it makes it a very, very accurate system. And you can actually use it to navigate with over distance because you can always recalibrate after the next hour, count hands again to the closest hour and make sure where you're at.